Hi, this is Mr. Spradlin, and today we'll be looking at a way to communicate between sprites. This method is called Broadcast and Receive. First, I'll give you a simple example of Broadcast and Receive. I have here two cats, a big cat and a little cat. If I click on the big cat, he says, you clicked me. If I click the little cat, the big cat says, you clicked my little brother. Now how did the big cat know that I clicked the little cat? Let's have a look at the code and see. Over here I have the code for the little cat. And you see it's very simple. I just have two blocks. When the little cat is clicked, broadcast little cat clicked. This broadcast will send out a message to anyone who cares to listen. I can choose whatever, whatever message I want. Here I have little cat clicked as an option, or I can create a new message. Creating a message is easy, just give it any name at all. Seriously, any name at all. What the message is called doesn't really matter as long as you know what it means. But this cat's going to broadcast little cat clicked. Let's see what happens when the big cat receives it. Here's the code for the big cat. I have two sections of code here. The first one is pretty straightforward. When the big cat is clicked, say, you clicked me. This is the part that makes the big cat say, you clicked me, when I clicked him. The second one is what I want to show you. This is the receive half of our broadcast and receive. It says here, when I receive, little cat clicked, and again I can choose whatever message I want or create a new one. But when I receive that message, Here's what it's going to do. Say, you click my little brother. So if I click the little cat, he'll, he sends a message to the big cat. Big cat receives it and says his thing. Here's another simple example of broadcast and receive. On the left hand side, I have four animals, a bee, a butterfly, a crab, and a dinosaur. Also, I have a button marked spin. When I press the spin button, the spin button will broadcast a message that says, everybody spin around. Let's see what happens. Looks like the crab isn't really in the mood to spin. Let's have a look at this code and see how it works. First of all, we'll look at the spin button. The spin button says, when button clicked, and button, by the way, is just the name of the sprite. I call the button, button. When button is clicked, broadcast everybody spin around. Now I chose the name of this message myself, and there's nothing magical about the name of the message. It, it's true, everyone does spin around, except for the, the crab, but the message is not what makes them spin around. The receive is what does that. I Even though the name of the message doesn't control what happens, it is important to give your messages good names. I've seen in the past students do things like this. Just bang on the keyboard for a message name. Now this will still work. It, it'll still do what you want it to do. But once you have five or six messages, it's kind of hard to tell the difference between one and the other. And when you see them all in a list, which one do you want? So don't, don't name messages like this. This is not a good idea. Give messages a good name that's descriptive of what's actually happening. So in this case, we're broadcasting a message that says, everybody spin around. Let's check the B. The B receives the message. He says, when I receive, everybody spin around. He's going to do this simple repeat loop. Repeat 24 times, turn 15 degrees clockwise. This will be a full 360. I can go ahead and force this code to run by double-clicking the, the start block. And you'll see that the B turns around just like he's supposed to. Next, the butterfly. The exact same code. I just copied and pasted it over there. He does the same thing when he sees the message. The crab is different. He receives the message, everybody spin around, but he doesn't feel like it. He doesn't have a repeat loop. He just thinks the word spinning is lame, and then he's done. So he still receives the message, but he chooses to do a different thing with it. He doesn't spin around, even though the message says, spin around. Once again, the name of the message does not control the action. Only what blocks you put in the receive section control the action. 
Then finally there's a, the dinosaur. He receives message and he spins around like everyone else. But what if we had forgotten to put this in here? If I don't have a receive inside the sprite, the sprite won't receive the message. He won't act on it. If I click the spin button now, everyone does their part except for the dinosaur. He doesn't know what to do. He doesn't have a receive for that message. You can have as many or as few sprites as you want receive a message. And in fact, you can even have a sprite receive its own message. Let's take a look at that. I'm going to go to the control section and add some code to make the spin button receive its own message. I'll first get a receive block. When I receive, everybody spin around. Then I'll go to looks and I'll find a talking block. And I'll have him say, everybody spin now. Just like that. So now when I click the spin button, the button will talk and he'll say everybody spin now and everyone spins around. So a sprite can receive its own message and this is a pretty common technique in Scratch. Let's have a look at another usage for broadcast and receive. How to change levels in a game.